Hello my fellow adventurers, Ryan here from D&D Awakening, why don't you join us on our travels today with a new Dungeons & Dragons tale. Before we begin why not subscribe for regular Dungeons & Dragons content, also please feel free to show the channel some additional love and support if you find yourself enjoying the video by hitting that like button, and maybe leaving a comment below, this small gesture really helps us to reach more people and grow our community. Thank you for your support, and on to the adventure. The short but horribly annoying life of Aladdin the Paladin. DM, a talented but inexperienced DM. His only flaw might be his leniency towards problem players. Me, playing a half-elf druid. Sorcerer, mostly just an unfortunate bystander to what will unfold. Aladdin the Paladin, very creatively named Human Paladin. Please take a guess whether he'll be a problem down the line. Monk, the poor guy who is going to suffer the most. At one point in the story, he'll literally throw his PHB at Aladdin. Please hold back on judging him too harshly until you read further. Nobody got hurt, at least out of the game. Without further introduction, I'll let the words and deeds of Aladdin the Paladin speak for himself. Our level 1 characters meet at a wizard's tower. The old mage needs help with some busy work and is hiring adventures, promising gold as a reward. Me, looks like we're going work together on this. I'm Darren Ias of the Silver Forest. A pleasure to meet you. Aladdin the Paladin, I'm Aladdin the Paladin. I am a force of the law. Monk, wow, what a name. I am. Aladdin the Paladin, angrily interrupting Monk, yes, that's my name, okay? I'm Aladdin the Paladin. He looks like he's thinking hard for a moment before he continues, my parents were bards, they liked rhyming. Monk, okay, so they knew that you'd become a paladin when they named you? Aladdin the Paladin, well yes, okay? They gave me a way to a paladin order when I was little. That, by the way, is literally everything we're going to learn about Aladdin's backstory during the rest of this campaign. I'm sure he was a well-fleshed out character. Me, no need to get agitated about simple introductions. Let's just hear what our wizard hosts need from us. And so we went on our first quest, fetching some magical ingredients from an abandoned mine which of course was infested by some low-level monsters. Everything went fine. We looted some gemstones and leveled up. Together with the wizard's pay, we had earned ourselves 1,500 GP. Aladdin the Paladin, give me the money, I want to buy plate armor. Monk, no, we're splitting it up evenly. Everyone gets their fair share. Aladdin the Paladin, what do you even need that money for? You're a monk, you don't use weapons or armor, and the druid can't use metal items. And the sorcerer doesn't have to pay for new spells. So, I'm the only one with proper use of this money. Monk, we know each other for three days now. There's no way I pay for your armor while I get nothing out of it. Me, let's all calm down. I don't have much need for material wealth right now. I'll lend you my share, Aladdin, if you want to save up for better armor to protect all of us. You can pay it back later. Aladdin the Paladin, no. I'm not borrowing money. Money lending is evil. I am a force of the law. Me, okay. It was just an offer. I have no clue what lead to this weird outburst and his hate of money lending. Maybe some weird anti-Semitic stereotypes? No idea. Monk, so we're splitting it up evenly. I want to save up for some magic items the wizard has for sale. DM, alright. Anything else you guys want to do while you're in town? At this point, while Sorcerer, Monk and I do some shopping, Aladdin the Paladin is passing multiple notes to the DM. DM, are you sure about this? I mean, your lawful good, right? Aladdin the Paladin, yes. It's in the service of good. DM, rolls his eyes visibly, alright. Once all of you meet up again at the market, you notice Aladdin appearing from a dark side alley, parting ways with a sleazy looking half-orc. Monk, what did you do with a half-orc? He looks like a criminal. Aladdin the Paladin, I bought some drugs. Everyone, what? Aladdin the Paladin, since you won't let me buy my plate armor, I need to find another way to quadruple my gold. Monk, so much for your I am the law tagline. And how do you even plan to resell it for quadruple its value? Aladdin the Paladin, I'll dilute it with sawdust to quadruple the amount and then resell it. Monk, and so much for your I oppose evil tagline as well. Aladdin the Paladin, shut up, idiot. Every drug addict is evil anyways. So if they die from the diluted drugs, it's a still a victory for good. Me. Are you sure this is a good idea? Aladdin the Paladin, if you misers would just buy me my plate armor, I wouldn't have to do this, so shut up. The game continues. 
as does Aladdin with his stupid plan, passing notes once in a while with the DM while we finish up our business in town. We take up our next quest from our new wizard patron and journey towards our new destination. Once we leave town, we get ambushed on the road. DM, the leader of the heavily armed band of thugs shouts at you, how dare you try to intrude in the drug trade in our town. Give us our fair cut or pay with your lives. Aladdin the paladin, no way, criminals. You will perish in the name of the law. Monk, I'm not going to risk my life for his bullshit. Aladdin the paladin, shouting, my good friends here and I will send you to hell where you belong, evil scum. Me, I guess Aladdin just included us in this fight. So we fought. It was a mess. Monk was taken out during the combat but DM was lenient so some of the thugs dragged him away instead of outright killing him. Sorcerer, Aladdin and I barely defeated the rest of them. But the kidnappers got away. Aladdin the paladin, we would have easily defeated them if I had proper armor. A while later we have healed up and tracked the escaped thugs back to their hideout in the outskirts of town. After some tense moments and successful stealth rolls we managed to break into the criminal hideout. Sorcerer, who was mostly passive up to this point, having his best line of the campaign, good thing you don't wear plate armor, Aladdin. Otherwise you'd probably have failed your stealth check. We managed to take out some resting thugs undetected, find the unconscious monk and finally we find all of monk's belongings locked away in a chest. Aladdin the paladin, great. We'll take the money and split it up evenly. With that and my drug profits I think I can afford the plate armor. Monk doesn't get a share since he didn't help us here. Me, dude. It's his money. Aladdin the paladin, we're in a kind of dungeon and it's loot from a chest. Monk insisted that we split everything we find evenly. If you guessed that this was the moment when Monk threw his PHP, then you'd be correct. DM, your loud argument has alerted the rest of the sleeping criminals. You hear their footsteps and shouting coming towards your direction. At this point, we postpone the argument, grab Monk and his stuff and beat it. Sorcerer and I have disadvantage on athletics because we're carrying Monk and his belongings. But we manage to escape. Aladdin however rolls a natural one. DM, is anyone going to stop and help him? Me, nope. Sorcerer, nope. Aladdin gets surrounded by angry thugs, tries to fight them, curses us and our evilness for leaving him alone and dies an inglorious death. This time, for some reason, the criminals don't take prisoners. That's the end of the short but horribly annoying life of Aladdin the Paladin. And it's the end of this horror story. Wow, so what do you think of this tale and the terror that was Aladdin the Paladin? Comment below and let us know and we will see you in the next tale.